Hey everybody, this is Gabe from Gabe's Green Corner. Just wanted to put a comment out on the uh, coal mine incident that's going on right now. Uh, any of you don't know, there was a coal mine in West Virginia that collapsed. It killed 10 people so far. Or actually, I guess it killed 12 people so far. And there's 12 people that are expected missing. Uh, this is a coal mine that actually is the uh, same, same area that in 2006 killed a bunch of miners. Uh, the whole town around this area in West Virginia is coal miners and... Uh, one of the things that I find interesting is this coal mine has been cited time and time again by the Federal Regulations Commission on uh, on how they uh, keep up their practices and their protection for their miners. And uh, the uh, the this mine in particular, there's two million uh, cubic feet of methane gas that's dumped into the seam uh, that they get the coal out of every day. So think about that: two million cubic feet of methane gas dumped in every 24 hours. Uh, this mine is just an explosion waiting to happen. There was an explosion and uh, 12 miners were killed, 10 are still believed trapped underground. Uh, what horrible of a death is that to be able to be trapped underground in a coal mine after it explodes? Um, something I couldn't believe. Definitely think that the uh, coal mine, the Massey company needs to give some retribution to these families for what they've been put through and uh, they need to do some serious upgrades and changes before they reopen and start uh, tapping into that coal vein again. Right now, I really think what we need to is uh, just some prayers for the families of the people that uh, are still missing uh, family members underground. Definitely prayers for the families of those people who have passed because this is a, a hard moment. And uh, that's all we can really do is hope and pray for the people that are still trapped that they can uh, get out safely and uh, pray for those people that have passed away already. Uh, thanks.